Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Beyond the Cloud. Today, we are diving into Azure Container Instance, a hassle-free solution for running Docker containers without managing virtual machines. Uh, so in this video, we will explore how Azure Container Instance or ECI provides fast and efficient container deployments. Perfect for scenario like uh, batch processing, testing, and uh, quick application deployments. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding uh, of how to leverage Azure Container Instance uh, to simplify your containerized workload. Uh, so if you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't uh, so that I can make some recommended video out of you guys if you have any. Uh, so sit tight and enjoy. So we will run uh, an application in Azure Container uh, Instance. So what is an Azure Container Instance? I hope you already know it. Mm, this is a service created primarily ease of use in mind. Like It supports both uh, Windows and Linux container um, and it provides the basic functionalities for creating and managing a group of containers. Uh, it The main target is to quickly start a new container without with or uh, with our application without going too deep into the details like the configuration and the orchestrations and everything so you just have to provide a docker image and specify the basic configurations uh, and that's it a couple of advantages are um, uh, fast startups uh, no need to complete complex orchestration implementation uh, the billing is only for real-time usage availability of public ip addresses and everything but it also has some couple of uh, disadvantages like it does not scale automatically you have to manually do it and it supports only a basic configuration um, yeah this is the uh, this is the main concerns that azure container instance do have uh, uh, so in this particular tutorial what we will do uh, we will first create a registry uh, that is our azure container registry and then we will create a image in the public in the azure container registry and on that particular image or that particular image we will run in our azure container instance um, the creation of image and the container registration registry uh, we will do it uh, from the cli um, azure cell cloud cell um, but for the uh, running for the azure container instance your image running the image in in the container instance we will uh, do it in the portal uh, so i hope you will uh, enjoy this video uh, please uh, stay tuned uh, let's do the hands-on now so we have logged into our azure uh, portal whenever you are logging in uh, you will be able to see the uh, this uh, open portal where you will see all the azure services so if you are not familiar with so much about azure you can check my earlier video um, and get it familiarized uh, somehow uh, now uh, to get started with we need to uh, Check our resource group so currently our resource group is this one whatever we create it will be under this resource group uh, before starting the actual azure con container instance or azure container registry we need to do a couple of housekeeping stuff like uh, mounting a storage volume if you want or create a file share if you want these are mm, optional uh, if you didn't if you already have done that uh, this fine if you didn't do that then this will be first time for you so what we can do here on the top right hand side uh, there is a cloud cell option so if you click on that uh, it will open a small window at the bottom of your screen and it will ask you it will ask you that as your cloud cell want to open and whether you want to uh, open it uh, with your bash or powershell in our case uh, we will select bash whenever you will select bash it will ask you for the storage account so if you have a storage account you can select that the mount storage account if you don't want your storage account to be mounted you can select no storage account required in that case uh, all the things that you do uh, will be expired as soon as you exit your session this is fine for this purpose of the demo this all fine so i will select no storage account required and the subscription you have to select the subscription that you are on so this is my subscription that i am on so i have selected this and then i will I do not need a virtual private network, so I will just apply. This will take a couple of seconds um, to get our uh, 
cloud cell to be provisioned and whenever it will it will be provisioned uh, you you can show, see it here so we uh, wait for a couple of seconds okay so coming back and we can see that our cloud cell has been provisioned um, so what we have to do now uh, we can check which resource group we are in so if we just give azure uh, group list is a group list so the resource group will be listed the name of our resource group is this one we have to copy this one because uh, we will use this resource group uh, in further of our uh, lab so i will just copy it and now uh, we will create a couple of environment variables why because those environment variables we will be using later in our lab like the name of our azure container registry the name of our actual lab and everything so let's create the environment variables so what is the first environment variable is our resource group so our resource group name is the one that i have copied and i will paste it this is our resource group and i will create another variable called uh, name and the variable value will be lab demo uh, and uh, another um, variable or another environment variable that I will create is Azure Container Registry name, and this will be a random. So I will select it as our lab demo name, then a random number, and the random number is uh, how this is how we create a random number. That's it. So we have created three variables: RG name and ACR. Why? Because now we will create our container registry so how to create a azure container registry so as i said we will first create the container registry then we will build an image on that container registry and then we will go to azure container instance and then we will provision the image or we will run the image in our container instance so first of all to create our azure container registry we will use the environment variables that we have created so how to create that it's called agacr that is azure container registry then create command and then we need our resource group so now you are getting the idea why we have created the uh, uh, environment variables because now we can just refer, refer the rg and it will be referred our resource group so this is our uh, otherwise you have to type in a very big name uh, which is not a good way so then we will give the name uh, of our container registry and the name will be ACR, the ACR we have created as the name of our lab demo and then a random number. And then we will select a SKU and the SKU is basic. If we hit enter, uh, it will create our Azure container registry. Uh, so it will take a couple of uh, seconds. So I will uh, pause the video and I will come back when it is done. Okay, now I can see my container registry is uh, created. So it is created by me. Um, and this is the school this is basic and the resource group is here all we need is our container registry name the container registry name is uh, lab demo then this is the random number and we can see the admin user enabled is currently false so we have to enable the admin uh, user uh, to true so for this we will clear the screen and we have a command called uh, ag acr update so we want to update the azure container registry update what uh the name of the container registry is acr the one that we have created and then what is the property that we want to update is admin uh, enabled is true so if we hit enter so it will change the configuration and make the azure container registry admin user enabled to set true this we need it uh, to run this container registry uh, so we will clear the screen now now the next uh, step is to build and push a container image to acr uh, so how to do that uh, so basically uh, if you have a cloud drive already have, have a cloud drive you can already go inside of it if you don't have it nobody you can uh, work in your current working directory so what we will do uh, we will get the image from our microsoft uh, container um, microsoft image server so mcr dot Microsoft dot uh, com and then we will select the hello world this is the image that we want and then uh, we will push this 
command to our docker file so this is the, the uh, this is what we want in our docker file uh, and our docker file will be created so a uh, name so now if we hit enter our docker file is created if we give ls so this is our docker file now we want to build the image uh, the sample hello world the version one of it and then we push it to our registry of acr how to do that so there is a command called azure acr uh, then bui build so we want to build the image and the type is image uh, image and then uh, we will give a name called sample hello world then this is my version one image and which registry uh, that we want to pull push it to our uh, to our created azure container registry and what is the file that we want to push is our docker file and we have to specify our current working directory now if we hit enter uh, so this is you can see what is happening here so it is uploading the archived source and everything and sending the context to registry uh, this is our lab demo uh, registry so this is our lab demo this is this is the registry that uh, we have created so you can see downloaded the source code logging in the registry is successful and everything and then it is also pushed the this image so the image has been pushed and the call is successful so we can see uh, we have built the hello world image and we have pushed it to our azure container registry we will clear the screen and then we will see uh, in the container registry if the image is there or not now if you just minimize this window and if you go to resource group you will be able to see that our lab demo container registry is created so this is what we have created now if you go inside of this lab demo container registry and on the left hand side of it there will be a service and under service there is repositories so in this repositories you will be able to see uh, the sample hello world image so this is the image that we have built and this is the image that we have uploaded this is the version one image that we have uploaded now uh, the thing is uh, in our container registry we have built the image the image is uploaded now we want to run the image right so how to run the image now we have to deploy the image to our azure container instance uh, by which the image will be run so we will go back to our resource group because this is where everything uh, follows now we will select create on create section uh, it will uh, give you a couple of option uh, uh, to create and then we will select the container instance in the search marketplace itself you can search as container instance as soon as you type in so container instance will be pop up and then if you select the container instance you have to give a couple of values to it then uh, we will select that create and whenever you will select create you have to give couple of uh, values to it like the subscription like the resource group then the container name you have to give a unique container name in that case uh, we will give uh, beyond the cloud lab demo then the random number couple of so this will be a unique one so the container name uh, needs to be a unique one the region you can if you are following me you can select the us east um, region or you can select the whatever region you want or your subscription is valid uh, then the availability zone this is not a mandatory one so you can skip it the screw is fine the standard is fine now the image source the image source that we have to select is azure container registry you remember we have created the image there and then the registry is the lab demo one one the the one that we uh, selected already so because we have already one registry in our container registry and we have only one image and version one of it the size and everything i will not select i will not change anything else and then i will just uh, re click review and create and it will give me a final uh, page it will give me a final page of review and then i will select uh, create the validation has been passed uh, so the creation will be completed in couple of minutes i will um, pause this video and come back when the container instance creation is done
so now after one minute or so i can see the deployment is completed so there is a notification button where you can check the progress of your deployment so on the notification section if you click you see the deployment is successful and there is an option to go to resource directly so if you go to resource here so this is your image and this is your container instance and here is an option to start running the image in your container instance sorry uh, so if you click on start it will ask if you want to start container instance or not for this container group uh, the one that we have specified and i will select yes and it will start the container instance you can see from the notification section that it is starting the container instance and um and how to how to check that on the navigation bar so on the navigation bar on the left hand side if it is still running uh, we go to containers uh, in inside settings we have containers and on that we have a logs uh, tab so right now the we can see the state is waiting and on the notification section is also it's something it's saying that successfully started container instance uh, but it's still waiting so let's wait for some time uh, then we come back here containers and then again on logs oh it's already terminated so we that's why we cannot uh, see the logs it's too fast because there is nothing apart from hello world uh, to it so again let's try if we do not see that then maybe we the last way uh, is to have it from the cli itself we go to containers and go to logs and let's wait for some time uh, it's still provisioning state uh, the container is still running so what we can do uh, it's already run and it is successfully run actually so what we can do here we can go to the cli and then we type in some command to see the actual logs so we type in the ag, AG container logs we want to see the logs and for which resource group to the resource group uh, the one that we have specified is the one our resource group then we give the name is uh, for our uh, container uh, name so this is our name of the container that we have uh, created and if you hit enter ah i think i have done a mistake in the spelling of the um, container yeah it, it just ask me to change it so i am going to change this one so it's container and if we hit enter now uh, we will be able to see this hello uh, from docker so this is what we have created our hello world uh, file this is what is there in the image sample of hello world uh, hello world and this is we can see this is uh, from the log of our container registry so we have seen that how can we build an image in Azure Container Registry, how can we post it, and how can we run the image in Azure Container Instance. This is very helpful. Uh, you can imagine if you are from an AWS uh, world, you can imagine this one with your ECS counterpart. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, if you like this video, you know, kindly like, share, subscribe, you know, and comment your thoughts, what you like and what you didn't. I only had to show you uh, how to run this uh, container registry uh, container image in the azure container registry i hope um, this will be helpful for you to run your application in azure container instance as well um, i will be back with another exciting video uh, so till then uh, take care and goodbye